Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Sitting here this uh, evening, early morning. God woke me up. It's a, you know, well, check some things on the internet. And saw some comments again from that Bible drive and some others as well. I want to read to you Luke. And I'm sure you're familiar with Luke. You know, you can quote whatever Bible verses you want to quote. I'm quoting what the Holy Spirit tells me to quote. I'm, you know, you don't know me inside here. But you think you do. Because you think because I'm ordained. Do you know what ordained means? Do you really know what or to ordain means? It doesn't mean that if you if I'm ordained and I am affiliated with this, that, and something else. No, it means to appoint. That's what ordain or ordain means. All it means is to appoint, appoint, appoint someone to the ministry or someone to be a king. All it just means to appoint someone to a position. And that doesn't mean that I'm affiliated with all the pagan stuff. You're trying to lump me in with all the other vomit that's coming out of your mouth. And this is what the Holy Spirit's done. You might be 40 years old, but you're still wet behind the ears. You might have went to another country and fought for supposedly our freedom. But you don't know nothing. You don't know me, but yet you think you have the right to judge me. You don't know my walk with God, but yet you think you have the right to judge that walk with God? Who gives you that right? I can tell you who's giving you that right. Satan the devil. It's not God, it's Satan the devil. Or you would stop it, Bible Drive. Stop. Before it's too late for you. See, God is my vinger. People have done me wrong in the past. I just say, God, is in your hands. It's in your hands, God. And I've seen the hand of God work in their life where they've been hurt. They've lost their job or what have you. Because of what they've done to me. God protects me. Because I'm disabled doesn't give you or anybody else any right to say, well, you shouldn't be in the ministry. No, you shouldn't be in the ministry. You shouldn't be in the ministry. You shouldn't be preaching all that vomit that you're preaching. God's Word, God's Word, and you uh, open it up and read it for yourself. God's Word, New King James says in Luke 6, For one thing things supposed to love your enemies. I love everybody. I love my enemies. I don't like what they do to me. And right here it says here in uh, uh, Luke... Uh, Six, um, uh, let me get a little closer here. 31. And just as you want men to do to you, 
you also do to them likewise. Or in other words, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Of course, then it goes on down here. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. For give, and you shall be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, second together, running over. So on and so forth. Now, let's go, I want to go here real quick to, um, uh, John 8. You are of your father the devil. And the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand for the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks a from his own resources for he is a liar and the father of it but because I tell you the truth you do not believe me which of you convicts me of sin See, they were doing this to Jesus Christ. And now you're doing it to me, basically. And if you tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears God's words before you do not hear, because you are not of God. Now, also, let me go here real quick to... Uh, Second Peter. My Bible's falling apart in that area. Because I study my Bible, my Bible's falling apart. Oh, too far here. Second Peter two. Deception of false teachers. For when they speak great, great swelling words of emptiness, they allure through their lusts of the flesh, through lewdness, the one who have actually escaped from those who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are slaves of corruption, for by whom a person is overcome by him also he is brought into bondage. For if after they have escaped the perilous of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord our Savior Jesus Christ, they are again engaged in them and overcome the la later end of woes for them than the beginning. For it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than to have known it. There is a, what some people say, well, there's a special hell, special place lined up for false teachers. There's also a special place lined up for, um, Teachers that um, 
just constantly speak a lot of vomit. Oh yeah, he, he, he's quoting a lot of Bible verses that I'm supposed to be uh, not doing or doing something wrong. It's like he knows me personally. I pray for you. I pray for your soul. I'm not praying on YouTube. I'm not praying on the video. I'm praying privately for you. That God will wake you up and show you the way before it's too late. And that goes for all of you who listen to me. That condemn me. You know, I love you, God loves you, but when you are disobedient and what he wants, and that's, uh, and that's us to love one another, and not, not sexually, but spiritually, and to help one another when we're in our uh, when we're weak, when we're sick, when we're hungry, when we're thirsty, when we're naked, when we're homeless. Now, what else can I tell you? Other than I'm praying for you. And God loves you. I love you. It's time to stop. Charlie Stone. I know you have the technology to do what you're doing. And you have the knowledge to use that technology to manipulate emails. To make an email look like it's from the police department from out there in Oregon when it's not. To make it look like it's from the Universal Life Church or, or the president of the Universal Life Church when it's not. To make it look like it's coming from me or my ministry when it's not. And how you got one of my other emails, I have n never put on uh, Facebook or YouTube. I don't know how you get it because it's for other things, personal things that, Bible stuff that I have coming to me that I study and a few other things. I don't know how you're getting all this information. That I have never put out there. But you need to stop it. And I'm trying to get a hold of a church out there to check on you. And to help you. Like you say you need help. And if I have to I'll get a hold of the law again and have them help you. But you need to stop it now. Because you, you've been told, you've been warned once already, but you're going right back to the, your vomit. You can't stop picking on me, harassing me I'm in my emails. That Some people say, well, you put yourself out there on the internet. I'm preaching God's word. And if that's wrong, if that's wrong in your eyes and in your in your mindset, you know, I don't care. It's not wrong. It is right in God's eyes. 
because I'm preaching the truth. You know, some people says, well, they're preaching the truth too. Well, prove it. If you stop judging me, then I know you're preaching the truth. Think about it. God bless you. Have a blessed day.